Uh, this guy's blocked it. Let me just do this one move, man. Yeah, so you know if you go, man, stop, stop beating me. What the hell is wrong with you? Remind me why I thought this was a good idea again. Uh, okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at tic tac toe. So, I mean, tic-tac-toe, I think we all remember this from uh, childhood. The whole point of tic-tac-toe is that you just you just want to get three of, uh, you know, three matches within a row. So here I am playing as X, I have two so far. Um, if I go here, I'm pretty much going to win. And so that's, this is the whole point of tic-tac-toe, right? So you're just supposed to get three matches. Now, when it comes to building an AI that's going to do this, it's fairly simple for the AI. I mean, tic-tac-toe only has about 255,000 number of possible games. For a computer to be able to run through this, it's going to be pretty, pretty simple, right? And so it's not really exciting to build an AI for it. So instead, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building an AI for 3D tic-tac-toe. Now that is, oh man, that's that's something else, let me tell you. Let me tell you right now. 3D tic-tac-toe is going to be an absolute disaster. Yeah, you, you see this? You see this? You see this? This this is 3D tic-tac-toe. Makes no sense to me. I honestly don't even know how, how to play this game. Apparently it was released by Atari back way when. So let me go ahead and play some tic-tac-toe. Let's just see how this game goes. Rules? Pff, rules are for... I don't need no rules. All right, let's play. Mm, this is a lot more difficult than it looks. Mm, mm. Gonna go see the, the the issue is it's not like a cube, so I can't kind of wrap my head around it. So basically, 3D tic tac toe, it's kind of like well, 2D tic tac toe, except that in this case, first of all, the grid size has been increased. Instead of it being three by three, there three three rows, three columns. There's now four rows, four columns. But on top of that, you then have four layers, meaning that well, I can get a match like one, two, three, four. I could also get a match one, two, three, four. I could also get a match one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. And that's what makes this so difficult to even wrap your head around. So I'm just gonna try it here. Gonna play around a little bit, see how it goes. I have absolutely zero strategy going into this because I don't even know what I'm doing right now. You have to think on like, four different levels. So I have to think within this, actually, I have to think within this space. I have to think, I have to consider what the enemy's doing in this, or my opponent's doing in this space. And then I have to figure out ways to also win within all other spaces. This, this is next level. I'll go here for now. I think I'm actually doing a lot better than I was expecting for this game. I mean, then again, I'm playing an easy, I'm playing a hard AI, very, this, this super advanced AI right now. This is, I'm beating, I think I'm beating. I, I, I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have no clue what's going on. I have a few different moves that are already in the works to kind of get me a, kind of get me a win here. I'm trying to set them up. I'm just trying to make sure this guy won't ruin anything. What is he? What do you, what do you, what, what do you, what are you doing? The moves are terrible. So, for example, I have this column here. There's one, two, three, four that I've set up. I have down here one, two, three, four that I've set up. I have this diagonal one. Oh crap! Oh shoot! <laughs> I didn't set that up properly. Okay, you know what? I'll do this. He's not really doing much. He's just kind of letting me do my thing, which is kind of poor. But whatever. I won. Uh, yep, I won. Game over. I don't know how I didn't see that, but yeah. And kaboom. I like that. That, I guess, is how you play 3D tic-tac-toe. It's my first time. The AI, again, the AI I was playing was super, super difficult, uh, but I was able to persevere. I'd like to thank, I'd say, right off the bat, the AIs that would work really, really well for tic-tac-toe would be search. Search algorithms would, would, would eat tic-tac-toe alive. The only issue there is you then have to optimize to make sure that they don't run or they don't, um, you know, they don't, they don't take too long, especially when you move to 3D tic-tac-toe. The only issue there is that I don't think it'd be able to play a perfect game. I think, I think probably the most exciting one to me or what I think would probably work. 
actually, would it work? I was, I was going to say, I think maybe a, maybe a Q learning algorithm would work here. The only issue with Q learning though, is that it would work, it would work really, really well for tic-tac-toe. But then when you get into 3D tic-tac-toe, I think it would just completely fall apart. And then you'd have to go with deep Q learning in order for you to get the same results. Obviously neural networks as well would work. I guess for neural networks, the outputs I'm assuming here would just be coordinates on the board for the AI to go in. Um, if you kind of run into a, an issue whereby, let's say for example here, you know, this spot's already taken, right? So you just have the AI kind of rank the, the, the moves they would make. Uh, and then you'd come back to the board and you consult the board and see whether or not those moves are legal. And so you would find the first legal move within the ranked, uh, outputs that it gives you. You could probably do something like that. I mean, essentially, I think there are a whole bunch of different algorithms, AI algorithms that would work here. What would ultimately be the best? I don't know. Actually, it's a good question. What would I have my money on? I, I to be honest, I think I'd have my money on, on, on search. You know, there's no learning. There's not nothing that needs to be done. You just build it, run it. It does its thing and it's going to be super effective as long as you build it correctly. The, the only issue with search though, is that unless, you, unless you wanted to go through each and every single option, you would have to be able to feed it an algorithm that it can use to determine the probability of someone winning. Now that's going to be the tough part, but I think if you can crack that, then search, search beats everything hands down. Now, now perhaps, you know, what, what might come close or what might actually beat it is let's say, you know, if, if you, if you're using a genetic algorithm, um, the genetic algorithm is probably, you know, if you let it train, it's probably going to pick up, um, it's probably going to pick up some strategies. My, my, my only issue with genetic, genetic algorithms is that you, you, or, or neural networks in general is that for this, because there's a lot of strategy involved, you need a recurrent neural network, a neural network that, 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 that is able to consider time and is able to understand patterns over time rather than one that just gets a single snapshot or single, yeah, rather than one that just gets a single snapshot or a single, you know, just image of what's going on in the now. And then, you know, in the next time period or after the next player makes its turn, it just takes a look at what's going on now. I don't think that that's going to work too well because it has no context really as to what's going on. So I think that the only kind of AI based algorithms that would work here are ones that use a recurrent neural network. I think those are the different types of algorithms that we're probably going to go through and we're probably going to try. And I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to each and every single one of them. Definitely what's going to be best. I have absolutely no clue right now. Okay, so. <clears throat> oh, I need some water, man. What the heck? Why don't we try to sound a little raspier? Okay, so. That's <laughs> not a raspy voice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's pretty simple. All we need is lines to make the grid, a marker for player one, a marker for player two, some text that just commentates on what's going on. And that's it. This is a pretty simple game. Now, one of the reasons why I actually want to do tic-tac-toe is because tic-tac-toe is actually, depending on who you, who you ask, is one of the very first games made ever. It was actually called OXO, and it was built in 1952 by a guy named A.S. Douglas. Um, and basic, well, it simulates knots and crosses, whatever the heck that was. The heck is knots and crosses? What the heck's a knot? Oh, you mean like knot? Why would you spell it in the most confusing way ever then? N-O-U-G-A. Why don't you just spell it? knots like N-O-T-S? Done. End of, end of story. Everyone would know what you're talking about. Wait, hold up. Knots are the z are the circles. I'm even more confused. The heck is a knot? A knot is a zero. Oh snap! What the heck? Oh. So that's why it's called knots and crosses. I. <laughs> to be honest, now that I think about it, I think it's a better name than tic tac toe. <laughs> what? The, what the heck is tic tac toe even supposed to mean?
Today we'll be using Love 2D. It's based off of Lua. And then we're going to hope use a whole bunch of libraries within Lua, especially the, the whole neural network library that's already been built out from using Torch for, for Lua, where, where we're going to be using those as well. And that's pretty much it. All right, let's get started. Let's just call this window. Tick, tack. You know what? I'm going to call it knots and crosses. That's what I'm going to call it. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be knots and crosses. Um, yeah, that's going to be a hilarious name. I'm going to, I have to, I have to say using the British accent this whole time. What was it again? Uh, I can't even, can't, I can't say it anymore, man. I cannot pronounce this damn thing. Um, okay, you know what? I'm just going to draw, oh. Right, forget. What I'm going to do is print text. Okay, let's see how that goes. Wow. Okay. Okay, beautiful. We don't want full screen though. That was my bad. And there we are. Okay, perfect. So we have our knots and crosses window. Um, one of the things we're probably going to be doing is we're going to... So let's just draw the grid. Uh, what, what, what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to just draw and create a normal three by three tic-tac-toe game. And then, you know, we, we're going to do a little bit of testing for the AI on that three by three grid. And then afterwards, we're actually going to blow it up. Uh, it's going to be a little easier to test and debug and things like that. So then what we need is just something like this, right? We just need a grid like this. And we just need it to be able to just divide it into into uh, nine total pieces, right? Wow, this is such a beautiful drawing over here. <laughs> Let's just draw a box first, right? Okay. Perfect. We have we now have a square. Um, can the square be a little bit bigger? Mm, perhaps. Yeah, let's make that square a little bit bigger. Let's make it a little clearer. Mm, that's still not. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. Um, now let's just well turn this into this. We now have a grid. Beautiful. It's a little looks a little pixelated so what i can do is i'll probably just mess around with the the width a little bit okay so now what we let's just use a very simple marker for x and for y so for x we're probably going to have just a um just use a red circle and then for y oh, sorry this is our so this is why it's good that i called it knots and crosses so our knot is going to be a red circle and our cross is going to be a green square sure let's just do that but that's just for now and then once should we make them you know what let's color them in yeah let's color them in yeah okay so we'll do that now and then later on we will draw our actual cross and draw our actual knot sprites so now let's start to implement some game mechanics first of all we need to keep track of the board itself so let's just create a simple uh a simple array to keep track of the board okay uh let's just let's start implementing a function to draw this. I actually just wanted to print just so I can get a better understanding of how it, how it, um, of course, 83, oh, that's an end. Just so I can better get a better understanding of what is, mm, that is useless. What is, what is the grid size? Just out of curiosity. It's what like thirty-three point three three I don't want to deal with any trigonometry right now. So instead what I'm gonna do is we're gonna convert this into a square. It was always a square. Let's go with that. It was always a square. Um let's take a look. Let's see what errors we uh we run into. Um not bad. You kind of forgot something important though. We want this to be padded a little bit. 
So let's try this. Okay, we're perfect. Everything is all centered. So everything seems to be coming out really well. We're just going to add the ability for players to be able to choose their spots and where it can implement a turn system. No, nah, that's way too big. Uh, 10. Uh, 4. <laughs> now I can't even read it. Do 8. Uh, mm, you know what? Let's just stick with it. I don't have time. We should be good to go. Let's try that. See what, see what happens. What breaks? What happens? What now? Well, first thing that happens is that absolutely nothing gets drawn to the screen. Beautiful. So why are the why? Are the, oh, 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 oh. oh, don't you just love it when you get mad at your computer for not doing something that you never even told it to do? Ah. Oh. That's even weirder. That's what the heck are you doing? Boom, there we go. Okay, so what this helps us to do is it helps us to understand exactly where the mouse where the mouse is or where the cursor is at any given point in time. So someone can now that's actually implement the ability to actually click and play. I should not have broken anything, but uh, who am I kidding? Like half this stuff is probably gonna be broken right now. So let's just try that. And effectively that should, okay. And, oh man, why the heck is it still drawing outside? Oh, don't you just love? There we go. Okay, yep, and then you cannot. All right. So again, player one is red, player two is green. So if I click here, uh, nothing happens. Ah, oh, beautiful stuff. What the, what in the world? Okay, let's try that again. Oh my God, what the hell is this? <laughs> you know what? I guess that's what's needed for it to work. Doesn't make any sense to me right now, but show must go on. It'll make sense later. Okay, that works. Why the hell does it work? I'm so confused. Because something is flipped elsewhere. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, well, at least I, at least I caught it now, because then it would have caused a whole bunch of issues later. And now we should be good. Okay, click here. Oh, beautiful. Okay, that works perfectly. Uh, okay, I think that's a good place to stop for today. Next time what we'll do is we'll start to implement some matching. And then we're actually going to flesh out like the actual game mechanics. Um, every, pretty much everything's done. We just need to flesh it out a little bit and it should be good to go for AI to come and destroy it.